Ah, uh, you all don't ever learn, do you? So today we're speedrunning through Fireboy and Water Girl, which is a two-player game. You're supposed to play it with a friend, but I'm doing it all by myself because I'm dumb. So basically for this run, we have to go through every single one of these levels. We're going to start the timer as soon as we start this first level. So let's just get started. Now, right away, we can use both the arrow keys and WASD to be able to control both of the people. Now, a lot of times I mix them up. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit difficult, but I just have to like use little baby steps some of these times to make sure that I don't completely mess up my run. But you can see one moves while the other stays somewhere and they use this for all these different puzzles. And it's actually really neat how the game did this. And then they can work together to like push objects and make that go faster. It's still confusing for my brain to understand what's happening fully a lot of the time. Unfortunately, not a super genius just yet, but I'm trying my best to get there. So a lot of time I like keeping them to where they're in the same position if I can, so especially for areas like this. We need these guys to be in the same position. And there's another level done. We're getting through this pretty fast. I'm gonna try my best to do this deathless. That is my biggest goal. These are nice because when they're like this, we basically just have to get them to go in the exact opposite directions, which means I really only have to look at what one is doing. As long as I'm pressing the opposite keys, you know, we're all good. And now we have mechanics like this, which which are really cool. They have this entire pulley system, which I actually really like. I'm gonna try to get them to move at the same time. Again, my brain, it's not the biggest brain in the world, okay? I'm a little small brain with some of this stuff. Because I'm a little small brain with some of this stuff, I'm gonna take my time with some of these things because I really don't wanna die and have to restart the entire level. So sometimes we're gonna be wasting a little bit more time than we possibly could. You need to do that sometimes in a speed run. For here, we're gonna go ahead and get this boy and then that's gonna allow us to bring this up, which then we can press this button and we can get our girl water girl right back down here. There's actually a way to skip that and just get fire boy to go ahead and jump over that pool, but it's really precise. I only got it once after like 10 minutes of trying to do it. I just decided it's probably better to do it the same for what now here is where my oh gosh what was that death now here's where my mind really starts getting a little more worried okay for some of these levels it is very hard to do both of the things at the same time i probably could have if i was just a little bit better but we're just gonna take our time a little bit i kind of just want both these guys to take their time to get through their spot and then once they get to the water that they're safe at you know we can not worry about it as much so it'll be nice having them in just the same spot and then we can continue on. Okay, that was scary. And I always almost forget that green water on this level. And that would completely mess me up because then you have to redo that entire one minute level. So yeah, not looking good if that happens. It kind of amazes me how smart a lot of these puzzles are, especially for a flash game. Like this is one impressive flash game. When people first started recommending it, I actually didn't remember it. Then after playing it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is a really good game. Now I can get Fireboy to come move this back over here, which I'm not sure if it actually is the intended mechanic or if you're supposed to put the block on the button, but I don't really care because this seems faster. <laughs> and now this is the first level where we're going to have these rocks, which the rock physics are not my favorite in the world. I seem to have to push it all the way from here. Otherwise it won't make the gap. Okay. Yeah. See, like it barely just made it there and that would not have been good if it didn't. For these levels, we have to get the green diamond before we can continue on. So that's why I took all that extra time just to go ahead and get that diamond. I guess, is that actually a diamond or is that like an emerald? Okay. I might just be saying the completely wrong thing. We can just have our boy fireball just sit there. He's just going to chill for a while because water girl is coming to town. And now that fire boy is finally done sitting, we can get them both to push this and get it over here. Sometimes when you only have to use one person, it is very nice, especially for my mind trying to think about what I'm supposed to even be able to do. And then for this pulley, we can make it faster by having fire boy jump right there. Finally, we can get fire boy to jump right over here and water girl to come after. So I'm actually pretty surprised on how well I'm doing. I know a lot of you are still going to say I suck. But, you know, this is better than I thought I'd be able to do. So we're going to turn off that fan, get both of our people over here. And this is one of the parts it confuses my mind a lot. So this terrible physics on it. And we want to keep it as stable as possible because Water Girl is going to have to come there later. Yeah, see like here, I didn't keep it stable enough. And now we're going to have to wait a tiny bit. Hopefully, at least I'm going to be able to make this jump anytime now. Okay, I think this is good. Please? Okay, that was close. I really did not like that jump, but we made it past it. Over everything, I'm gonna prioritize safety just because the biggest time loss we can make is just not being safe. Now, this is another one of the nice levels where it's exactly the same except backwards for both of the people. So we're just able to quickly do that. This is a really cool puzzle, but it sucks for speed running because it takes so long. But I like the puzzle at least. Now we have to get Water Girl down here so she can turn on these fans. And then Fireboy 
can come over here and actually use them. We can get Fireboy to go ahead and push down that ball, which will press the button. Then we can turn off the fans right again. While Fireboy is getting the Emerald, we can get Water Girl to just be right in her spot. And I'm confusing which one I'm using again. Oh God. And there we go, nice and easy. Oh God, I didn't recognize that was there. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, This was going to happen at some point, wasn't it? Okay, I just need to stop drop and roll i don't know what i need to do jesus we're just gonna have them go one at a time just so i don't completely mess that up for no reason so we can get them to hit their individual switches set our stuff up okay that was pretty good at least for the ending oh and then i was walking into a wall that's also pretty good and my mouse was there the entire time so someone's gonna yell at me in the comments i already know it's gonna happen this puzzle when i first encountered it it confused me so much but finally i was able to get it eventually we basically want to get this ball over here and then fireboy can just stay right there so we can focus on our girl water girl for a second now while fireboy deals with these switches so we can actually go ahead and get this emerald we can go ahead and do that fireboy needs to come right here to push this up so then water girl can push that okay water girl you're you're kind of you're kind of messing me up right now. Come on. That's pretty much the level. Except for this jumping part where I don't want to die in that. So I'm going to take a little more time than I probably need to. All right, we're going to line them both up for this one. Thankfully, this is a level where we don't have to go ahead and have them do different things. If we can keep them just completely simultaneous, I'm never going to mess up pretty much. And you know, I don't really need to do this strat. It probably doesn't save that much time, but it just looks so cool when you get it. So you can jump before that, please. I am wasting so much time on this one level oh god that was terrible <laughs> okay we're just not gonna worry about that right there this one is cool we basically have one move at one time the other move at the other time which means we don't have to worry about them doing things at the same time which is always nice for me because i am dumb and now oh please okay that was almost bad no okay yeah those lever systems always mess me up Okay, there we go. I had to focus there for a second because that thing is really bad for me and I don't know why. Oh, this is another one where they can just do the opposites. I almost caused them to separate and I caused one to die. Oh, it's always nice when you can just let them do the opposite things. Well, especially after that last monstrosity of a level that we had. It's nice to, you know, be a little more loved. So this one, I actually have to remember the order we're supposed to do this in. Okay, so we're supposed to push that one. But then we go right here push this one so that goes right there and then we can finally push this one okay i needed to make sure i actually had that and then to get that emerald we need to make sure fireboy is right over here but now we just kind of have to make fireboy do this entire truck back which isn't the fastest thing in the world but there's nothing really faster that we can do i guess it didn't take as long but it just feels like so long when you're trying to do the speed run now, this is another one where i have to remember the order otherwise i'm just gonna completely mess myself up and now we can get them to reunite as fireboy just does nothing so yeah in general i try to just only focus at one at a time like if one is safe and i know they're safe i'm gonna focus on the other but i can still get them both to move but if one of them is in fear of dying i Obviously, we're going to focus on that person first. Okay, that was a pretty good one. Now, with that fan, we don't actually have to use it. as an option to get some extra gems, but why would I get the extra gems if I can just make them both go this way? Oh, well, maybe that reason, because then Fireboy um, messes me up. Remember when I said I wanted to do this Deathless? That was, that was a fun time. Oh, my God. Please. I'm just gonna let Fireboy do this one first so he doesn't die. I don't know why I didn't just do that in the first place because that would have been much smarter, but I guess you don't come to the Easy Speezy channel for smarts now, do ya? You come for riveting gameplay like this. And there we go, that's some riveting gameplay as my mouse was in the center of the screen the entire time. I love that. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is another level where we don't even have to move Fireboy again. We can just use Water Girl for all this. Fireboy, you know what? You can just do whatever you want, I guess. Literally, I could have solved that entire level just with Water Girl and then you die? Are you kidding me? You don't do anything the entire time and then you die? Let's just get this. There, I'm gonna take a little more time just to make sure I can actually do that. That was, that was not my best situation ever. Okay, we got past the level though. A little bit longer than I would like it to, but it's all right. We got to do a bunch of stuff for this level. First, we got to get both of these people up here, which I wish I was just able to do this platforming a little bit better by myself. All right, we will leave Water Girl right here. Or can we even do that? Wait, 
Oh my god, I went the completely wrong way. Yeah, I forgot Fireboy had to come by this way because otherwise he's just gonna be killed by the water. So that wasn't the most fun thing in the world. Whatever, we're gonna get the gem, get out of this level, never come back. One minute and 14 seconds. Could have done that a tiny bit better, just only a tiny bit though. Okay, another one where we can just keep them in sync, which means perfect for me. Especially because there's all these extra gems, which we can just ignore. If you want to get 100%, you do have to get those extra gems, but why would I ever want to do that? That seems like a lot of work. So we're going to set up Fireboy into the place where he can do the switch while these blocks will drop. So we can get him to move because the block dropping is going to take a while anyway, so we might as well do something while we're waiting for it. Now for this one, this is a little bit precise. Basically, you don't want that to fall like that. That's basically what you want to happen um i'm actually just gonna reset this level i'm just gonna make sure i take my time okay please block let me step on you there we go and now we can get her up there there that's all i needed to do was that that hard all right we can get our gem and get out of here yeah having a deathless run would have saved a lot of time surprising enough <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're still moving on we're getting pretty fast i like this level i think this one's really cool we basically want to have one person do the switches on each side so we can get fireboy to do this right here and we can get him to open that up oh and i almost messed that up but we got it done but we can basically just keep getting them to go the places that they need to by using these switches. And my movement's been pretty clean right now, all right? With all the people that are probably yelling at me in the comment section for being so bad right now, hey, at least this level, it isn't the worst thing in the world, right? Please say right. We can get our boy back up here, and then he can be on this side to deal with all this kind of stuff. He can go ahead, hit this purple button. Yeah, like I really like this level as a puzzle thing, but as a speed run, this is a really long one. There we go. I'm finally starting to memorize which one uses the arrow keys and which ones uses WASD, at least a little bit. This level is really cool. It's another one of these where they kind of just do the same thing. So I'm going to just have them jump at the same times for this, even though Fireboy does have to jump a little bit more than Water Girl does. But you know, it keeps me remembering what I have to do, okay? And now each of them can hit a switch. And now basically they have to go in the opposite directions because new paths have opened up for both of them. Now I just have to make sure I can't jump in that lava, which I'm not sure if you actually can when the platform is like that. I probably should have tested that out, but you know what? We're just gonna take Fireboy. Can your door please open? Thank you. Fireboy has to go hit all his levers that he needs to hit. We just need Water Girl to be in charge of the levers and making sure that those ones that we need are done. Okay, that was probably the worst explanation I've ever heard in my life, but you're seeing what's happening, okay? Look, I'm dealing with puzzles at the same time. It's hard, it's harder than it looks. Okay, that one was fairly fast, but definitely could have been better. We only have a few levels left, which I don't know if sub 30 is possible, but if we can get it, I will be very happy. It might be if we just don't die. But you know, the hard part in that is not dying. I hate that jump with my entire being because you can't just go right back around. There we go, thank you. Oh God, that hurt. No, okay. Let's just make sure they both are alive. I hit the jump button. Just make the jump, thank you. That's all I wanted from you. <laughs> we can get Fireboy to finally come over here, do his job, and yeah, oh God. That was probably a couple minutes of time loss, but what you gonna do at the end of the day? Yeah, I think sub 30 might be a little bit dead. Now this level I actually really like, I think is really cool. It's a very well-designed level, like all of these. You know, I keep saying I really like these, but I should probably just put a big blanket statement over it that I really like this entire game. I don't like playing it when it's only me though. Too bad I'm lonely. <laughs> okay, we can get her to go up here and then we can push that. And then we have to make sure that she actually gets back. I forget the reasoning. I think it kills you or something. Something bad happens if you let that button hit it too fast. I might be wrong. I don't know. My brain's all over the place right now. It's just trying to go fast. So for this one, we can have one person just come right over here and get that emerald. And then for the other person, they then have to go and save the first person. So if we actually fall in that hole, we're just soft locked, which is kind of funny. And now this has a specific order you have to do it. You have to do that one. Wait a second. Do that one. Wait a second, if you're too fast, it could just ruin the momentum of these balls. So we have to make sure that's pretty good. And now while that ball slowly creeps up to the button, we're just gonna 
chill out, I guess. And there we go. We can finish with that level. Now we only have three left, okay? It's not going the worst in the world. Not the best in the world, but not the worst. At least this is a level where I can focus on one person at a time because the other person can't really do anything. <laughs> we got to hit the lever so that the fans will activate or deactivate. Come on, get right up there, girl. And then we need our boy Fireboy to be right here so that we can just smush him. Okay, and there we go. We can get that right over there. Easy. You know, if I didn't die all those times, this would probably be a pretty good time right now. Okay, and this level I really like. So we basically have to get Water Girl to deal with all these switches and stuff while Fireboy has to go through. And then they switch. All right, now we can get Fireboy down here. And now they actually switch places. So Water Girl wants to go right over here now. Can, please, girl. And now they can both go to their doors. And now we only have one level. If I actually choke sub 35, I'm gonna be ashamed of myself, to be honest. And now for this level, we gotta get one of them to go right over there, while the other can then deal with this button, which I probably should have switched places for that, but you know, it worked out in the end. And then we also have to get that lever. So we're gonna have to get Fireboy to go all the way back. So this is actually a really long level to, oh no. You're kidding me. Like it was literally just me not having enough momentum when I jump. And I knew as soon as I jumped, I was like, yeah, this is not going to work out. This was the worst jump ever. We can press this and now we have to get Fireboy to come back again. But luckily this time we can just get him to go this way, which actually we can't. Now that I'm thinking, am I dead? Am I dead again? I think I'm dead. You're actually kidding me. Whatever. We're just gonna have Fireboy go this way this time. Literally, this was all I needed to do. It would have been so much easier, but for some reason, I was just being so dumb and not knowing how to play games. I can just get her to go right through there. It was so simple. It was before my eyes the entire time. Now, one thing, we can't let Fireboy get stuck in that pit. Otherwise, he's just softlocked. This game really likes softlocking you. But now we can end time right there. 35 30. So we got every level done. A few of them taking a little bit longer than we wanted them to, but at least we did them all. If we look at speedrun.com, we can see that, yeah, we choked fourth place by a lot. But we did so much better than a lot of other people, so I got that going for me, I guess. If I didn't just choke and choke and choke, oh god, it could have been so much better. But hey, I've still proven I can do it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are subscribed, so if you enjoyed this video, I definitely recommend checking out my other videos and seeing if you want to subscribe. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe, so there's really no downside. But enough shilling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.